right, there is a thing of Dolce in here. That's a little, it's not so little, that's a, a big grocery market, supermarket. And they may be a little smaller in this location, but they can get quite large. They have a nice variety. We're gonna go in. Turns out it's parking for Ping, Pingo Dose. So the, build, the store must be on the other side. As you can see, not all the buildings are in great shape. That's the river area again, right there. So we're walking parallel, south parallel to the river. There's the Pingo Dose. We're gonna go in. There's the Pingo Dose. And we just walked in the entrance. Supermarket and Sagras. Little cafeteria area where you can get, sit down and eat some foods that you buy here. The vegetables are really nice though. Of course they have an abundance of oranges. Salads here are remarkably fresh. We just bought a small olive oil to try and get us through the rest of the month before we move. And I just wanted to show you this selection of tin fish and lots of beans. They do beans here big time. Canned vegetables, a few items like corn and peas, but not so much. Today's Mother's Day in the U.S., but they don't celebrate Mother's Day here. So I guess there's no special. And that's our quick view of Pingo Dose. Hot food court area. You prepare food too, you buy it and sit down and have lunch. Churrasco, which is grilled meats and grilled chicken. All kinds of prepared foods. Cheeses. Pow, breads, rolls. Pastelaria items. The rolls here are wonderful. The breads are wonderful. Traditional pal bread. Chocolateria that's uh, luncheon meats and sausages and smoked and dried meats. Chicken. Poultry. Put your items. Parents, raw items. That looks like a whole goat right there. That looks like turkey from Peru, or it might be something else. Those are uh, yellow chickens, the country chickens. Seafoods galore. Lots of good shrimp. The shrimp here are wonderful. Cut fishes. Look at the size of those flounders. Shells, clams, cockles, more shrimp. 
Langless things. And look at the prices on That's for a, a kilogram. That's 2.2 pounds. So that's $4 a, a pound, $3.90, $3.80. They have octopus here. There's Povo is octopus. Bacalo, which is salted codfish. Pizza. Did we mention they have pizza? In Portugal? Yogurts. Big time yogurt users. It's so much. Cuetos is cheeses. Lagartas is yogurt. This is all yogurt. More cheeses. More pizzas, pastas, potato chips, and more prepared foods here than we've seen in some of the other markets. And of course, the multinational brands here, Lay's and uh, Brothels. These chips, by the way, the Salonias, are wonderful, low in salt, low in fat, really great flavor. They're a local brand. We've become addicted to the, oh, Doritos. Yes, Doritos and Pringles. So it seems to us that the Portuguese are becoming internationalized with the foods that are being propagated in the U.S. And people are not as healthy as they were a hundred years ago. crackers and cookies. Some of the cookies here are expensive, especially the uh, U.S. brands like Oreo. I go to that for $1.34, like 1.34 euros for a small bag of Oreos. Very expensive. Candies. Oberon, I believe it's in here. M and M's. We got the M and M Mars here. Kit Kats. All of the uh, famous brands that we're used to from the U.S. No, I didn't. Just out of curiosity. Yeah. We just ordered Frank's Red Hot for buffalo, authentic buffalo wings. We had to order it from uh, Amazon Spain, Amazon ES. We did find it in one British store, but we never relocated it. Again. They don't have uh, a lot of pizza sauces and prepared marinaras here. They do have Heinz, but we found that they're local ketchups. Private label stuff from the stores is really good. So you, it's one third the price. Some of the soy sauces here are not good. You want to go with Tikamon or some of those other Japanese brands, I guess. Olive oils are abundant here. These are processed, processed oils are not good for you over here. But look at the olive oils and they specify by region. A lot of the Portuguese brands. 
the vinegars were very good. Too. Canned fish, more olive oil. But they do have some local brands, and the local brands sometimes are like 1.5 euros, and they are wonderful. No need to spend 4 and 5 euros for a cereal. Paper products, plastic wrap, aluminum foil are very expensive here. So that's it for Pila Dose.